Me first, then you can guide me. I just yes. conclude, yes, what I'm saying here. Yes. The Honorable Speaker, I am well aware, yes, yes, that the particular business is not on today's order paper. But I have mentioned that that particular business has been duly approved by the Speaker, and indeed, it has gone through the second reading stage. That is therefore within the, within the remit of 47.3 and especially the ruling I have just referred to by Speaker J.B. Muturi. Honorable Speaker, I'll be very brief. Article, 10, Article 3, of course, has been elaborated by J.B. Muturi in his ruling. Article 10, I'm on, I'm on a point of order, Honorable Speaker, and protect me please, Honorable Speaker. I am on a point of order. You just Honorable take your time Shepkonga, and respond. just let him finish. Yes. He's about to finish. What is the, then you can... What is the jittery about? I am on a point of order. Honorable Chepkonga, you're out of order. Allow me to listen to him, then rule on it. You can't the rule from your seat. Honorable Speaker, thank you very much. Honorable Speaker, I'm particularly referring to the value-added Tax Act of 2013 that this amendment bill is proposing to amend. Honorable Speaker, the first question is is the VAT Act 2013 a money bill or not? The answer is it is indeed a money bill. And the proposer of the bill is suggesting to delete section 268 2A. Honorable Speaker, money bills are provided for under Article 114 of the Constitution. Honorable Speaker, Article 114 of the Constitution, and I will take you to Article 114, sub Article 2 of the Constitution. Honorable Speaker, Article 114, sub Article 2. Honorable Wandai, because, we, like I've just asked you, that that particular central amendment bill is not presently before the House. It will be before the House in the coming days. Then you can be able to submit as you're submitting today, because now you're doing it in a vacuum. Honorable so Speaker, even if I were to give a ruling, it's impossible to give a ruling as it is not before the House. The Honorable Speaker, I'm just concluding. My point is this, Article 114 or sub Article 2 of the Constitution requires that if in the opinion of the Speaker of the National Assembly a motion makes a provision for a matter mentioned in the definition of a money bill, the Assembly may proceed only in accordance with the recommendations of the relevant committee of the Assembly after taking into account the views of the Cabinet Secretary responsible for finance. That is the point. The point here is, has this proposed amendment to the VAT Act 2013 been taken through the relevant committee? Is there a report from the relevant committee? Have you, has it acquired, has it received the concurrence or opinion of the CS Treasury? That is the point. The okay. answer Thank you, to this Wadai. question, Honorable Speaker, is that it has not. Okay. Well, and therefore, the, 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 the business is before the House, even if it is not on the order paper today. It is before the House. The business okay. is before Wadai. the House and procedurally. Honorable and Wandai. Is, is okay. Honorable Wandai, that particular statutory amendment bill will be coming to the house at some point in time right now you're speculating and anticipating debate let us wait until the matter is properly before the house when all the other members are able to access the documentation from the table office so that they can also be able to give a counter argument to your argument but now you're debating yourself yes so let us you've made your point and you've put it well, so let us proceed. Yes, and raise it. To proceed on the day the matter will be on the order paper. That doesn't negate the issues I have raised. Very weighty constitutional issues, Honorable Speaker. And whoever is responsible for this bill must take note. Honorable Speaker, thank you. Thank you, Honorable Wandai. I think they, they have received the message. 
So let us wait until the matter is before the House and there is no point to debate on it because it's not even before the House. And Honorable Law and Bayer, I hope we're not talking about this matter because it's not even before the House. We are just speculating and anticipating debate and no one else in the room, probably save for the two of you, know about it. So let us wait until it's properly before the House. Just to be on record, the Honorable